can say something that'll be helpful to someone else. Well, thank you for being willing to do this with us. You're very welcome. Now, some of the things that we've discussed in the past are about how the military families are affected. And now that you've been a military spouse for the better part of 20 career, years, 20 years, 20 years, married to the military, yes. And so your, your husband is a Marine and he's not only just, just a Marine, he's a Marine recon, ultimate Marine, scuba, parachutist, and sniper for the yes. Marine Corps. And those things got to add to the added stress of just even the normal Marine family who are aircraft mechanics or whatever else. But do you know how it might have affected you and the fact that your husband's not only just a, not only a Marine, but also in the in Special Forces. Special Forces. Um, I was actually married to two Marines. Um, I was married for 10 years to a gentleman who was a radio repairman. He was a Marine, enlisted, and when he deployed, it was a whole dis different situation. I knew he was going to be in a safer environment. Um, Were we at war at that time? Uh, yes. He was during the first desert storm, the, n the early 90s. Um, then I met, married a second Marine, my current husband. Um, he's done special forces his entire career. And it is a whole different ball game because you know they're going to be on the front line and exposed to things that, you know, somebody in an office environment wouldn't be exposed to. The risk is much higher for somebody that does what he does as opposed to somebody who is behind the scenes doing paperwork or repairing gear. Um, let's start with where you are right now. Um, you are holding it together today. Um, but you are struggling to hold it together. Um, and holding it together for you means being able to sit there and not cry and be able to engage in a conversation that makes Difficult. sense, right? Yes. But it's still, it's hard for you to do that. So let's do a little TFT to see if we can't help you feel a little better about being here right now. Okay. Um, because as you get overwhelmed, it, it doesn't really help you tell the story. Um, and as we shared with you before, when we've done TFT or thought field therapy, it's a, a treatment to help alleviate the overwhelming emotional responses that are linked to life traumas that we experience. Mm -hmm. And you having been a, a, a wife, gone through numerous deployments and experiencing the, the hurtful and traumatic things that you've gone through, especially recently. Um, partly due to the military and the, the environment that you guys are in, that um, this is a treatment modality that would help many in similar situations. Okay. So Dr. Bray will work with you on that right now. So let's go back and pay attention to what's happening right now in this moment for you. Uh, there's a lot of things that have happened over the last couple of weeks. I know you're under a lot of stress, but right now, uh, the important thing is for you to be able to be present with us right now, and that means you've got to come fully into your body and experience what it is to be the biggest... What's in your face right now that's so hard? Um, just the fear, and, um... Keep going, I'm looking for my, uh, Kleenex. <laughs> should have started with... Oh, there it is, over there. The fear of... You're not knowing fear. what my future holds, pretty much. Okay. It's the whole extent of everything. Everything is um, based on my not knowing of what, or not having a plan and not knowing exactly where I'm going. So, and I know that that's gotten more uncertain for you, but right now, just feel the fear in your body as you feel it right now. Can you tell me where you feel it in your body? In my chest, everything is right here. And very, con and it's kind of a constriction. It's constricting, yes. It's very paralyzing, yes. Okay, one on a scale of one to ten, with one being no fear, no constriction, no anxiety at all, would be a one, and uh, ten would be the worst you can imagine. Um, where would you say that that fear is right now? 
It's been worse, so, and I'm functioning, mm -hmm. so it's probably an eight, not a ten. I wouldn't say I'm quite okay. at that level. So we're going to just try some basic tapping. It seemed to work very well for you the other day. It did. It worked well. Yeah. Have you been able to do any tapping since then? Yeah, I do it a lot because otherwise I can't. I don't function very well. Okay. A little closer to the center line, and then under the eye, under the arm, and then under the nose, beginning of the eyebrow under the eye, under the arm. So go back and just think about where you're at right now and notice what you're feeling in your body now. I feel a little more relaxed, yes. Okay. Can you give me a number one to ten? Probably two. It's never going to go away completely, but it's better. You have no confidence in me here. <laughs> no, it's not you. It's the circumstances I'm under. <laughs> well, and I think, and I think that, that that's an accurate statement that the, the external stressors, the things that are going on around you and putting the demands on you, are going to continue and you will have to respond to them. But we want to get that down to where you can breathe again and the fear is not overtaking Yeah, I have a tendency to forget to breathe and that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> well, that makes things much worse. That makes things bad. And um, before we leave today, um, I'm going to give you a tapping pattern specifically for you so okay. that we'll see if we can become more efficient because you've just been using the standard tapping patterns to keep yourself kind of going. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll see if we can be a little more specific with it.